Dolphins with us today. He is one of the baddest small tire racers east of the Mississippi, driving not yours, not mine, but his side chick coming to us from North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Baba Philly. How's it going, my man? Uh, pretty good. How about yourself, boss? Awesome. Awesome. So glad to have you here on the Ease and Beast podcast with this awesome, exciting weekend ahead of us. But before we get to that today, we're going to jump into a little bit of your life, find out what makes you tick and what you got up your sleeve going forward. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, my friend. Bubba, tell my fans and listeners out there, how'd you get your start in racing? Man, honestly, I built a lake house for a guy, and uh, he races dragsters. And so I kind of was like, hey, it's pretty cool. So and then, like, I got with uh, Jake, Jake Bosworth, uh, which he, he's – him and my cousin, Nikki Floyd, are together. And uh, he kind of took me in like, like a family. I mean, he was he was literally like a uh, street racing genius. I mean, he was good. He's killing everybody. I mean, doing his thing. And I was like, man, this guy's having all the fun. Uh, we was at December, and uh, we was at the July digger die that uh, Eric Hunt and Zenford and Kenseth and all them put on. And – like, it was just – I went that Thursday – or I went that night. They'd done a street race, uh, which was exciting as hell. Excuse my language. They uh, – we'd done the – we'd done the race the following day, which and, – and in the meantime, from, from, from this area – so let's skip forward a little bit. In September, I bought the car in Ohio. Uh, it was uh, – I bought it as a roller, and uh, my buddy that I built the lake house for, he put the car together, and uh, which was Austin Cardwell. Uh, and he, like, he put the car together, and I had a hot rod. And, and we run it maybe 170, 180 passes, loaded up. So at that point, I got with the Kevin Mullins. Uh, TKM team uh, because Jake had led me into the right direction of it. So now I'm 100%. I mean, you see, I'm TKM to the front all the way, no matter what it is. Uh, they're just – they're great guys. And in my opinion, they're the best guys out there. Some might say different, but not everybody's opinion matters. Right, and right. some of them, sometimes they do. But I, I just – they, they've been fair to me and took care of me and made sure I raced. And, like, I blowed a motor up last weekend at Wilkesboro. And it was a big motor that TKM built for me and made a, made a good little bit of power. We split the block in half. And that was – this was Sunday at Pennywise Race at uh, Wilkesboro. So, long story short, went home with my head hung low. And uh, I was like, man, what are we going to do? Digger dies next week. Never going to get the car back together. And so we thrashed on it all week long. Like Sunday evening from the time I got home from Wilkesboro all the way to Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I done my work. I run my little construction business during the day. After that, we was in, in, in the garage, my buddy's garage, uh, the guy that actually built the car in the first place. And we just thrashed on it, thrashed on it, thrashed on it. Finally made it work. So Thursday, we pull in, get on a dyno at TKM. Car makes a little power uh, for what it is. I, I was down 85 cubic inches just because motors are expensive. Yeah. Uh, so it worked out good. So untested, we, we get it off the dyno, load it in the trailer. Thinking we're gonna to go to Shady Side Friday to uh, Corey Stamper's race. 
And we go up there Friday thinking we could test Friday night, but needless to say, it rained. So it, that got knocked out. So not no tested, no nothing. Uh, so we on Saturday, the way my luck goes, I, I usually draw first pair down. <laughs> and that's what I did. Untested car, 100%. <laughs> untested car, just straight off the dyno. And we knew that the car worked. <laughs> that's all we knew is that the car worked. Uh, so we tried it. Made it through first round, uh, and then we uh, went on to the second round, plucked away, had to tune up a little bit, and at that point in time, we had raced Team Denver, one of their new cars, Matt calls it, uh, we, and we put a freight train on them, uh, which was very successful for me, considering I, I've only been racing 16 months. Yeah. Uh, then we, round three. Went back, plucked out the tune up a little bit. Went out there and drew my buddy Kyle. And this fool's out, out coon hunting, riding willies. I mean, he's like on the bumper, off the parachute mount. The baddest willies. picture I've seen this season. <laughs> I mean, my man is, is definitely riding willies. And like, willies don't get you to the finish line. We, we all know the answer to that one, yeah. But the uh, – and, and, like, he was out on me because, like, them Nitro stars, man, it's hard to get by them boys. Like, me and Sam Hood, we've raced many a times, but it, it's hard to get by them, them Nitro stars. Uh, and I felt like I was coming – I was coming around him whenever it all started. Uh, but he was still up in the eye in the sky coon hunting. And uh, it was, and I like at one time I thought he was going to come over on top of me, and I just grabbed the scramble, and held it down and went on down through the track. So we made it through that round. Uh, we went back and tried it again, plucked away at tune up again, and uh, went down and raced. Uh, what's their names? Uh, Butterface. Butterface. Uh, some guys out of Kentucky. Good dudes. I mean, team meatball. Like, yeah, yeah, team meatball. That's right. Uh, but honest to God, just great dudes. They uh, so we went up there and we set it out, and I felt like I was on him. Uh, I I felt like I I had him covered, and about 180 200 foot mark. I I tire shook tire shook, so I I kind of pedaled it a little bit. He come by, and I was on, like, as soon as I pedaled it, I was on the scramble, and it was a tight race. But I mean, he outrun me, which I mean, I won four thousand uh, dollars, which was nice because the uh, we needed the money. Uh, definitely yeah. after the week we'd had working on the car. Well, let me say this: I mean, coming off of that amazing story. You know, obviously, all the lows you could obviously have to the almost the peak of highs, not quite. But with all that being said, Bubba, feels like in my in my opinion, this is great momentum leading into this weekend. Dig or die, of course, we know one of the biggest and baddest races all season. They kick it off down there. But I got to ask you this: What is your favorite part of no prep racing? Just the excitement. I mean, the, the, the kids running around on the starting lines, hustling, gambling, flipping dice, flipping coins. Uh, it's – and, like, once you get with, with the right crew, it's, it's like a family-oriented thing. And, like, you build a nice team that you all all run together and you stick together. And, like, we – like – that's what I like about it because like we, we got quite a few cars in our camp and uh, I mean, and Jake Boswell, he's, he's, he's a gangster in the streets, boy. Uh, Derek Witt, Daniel, Daniel Bishop. Uh, I mean, Josh Eubanks, we, we uh, definitely, definitely, definitely the cream of like the crop uh, in my opinion as well. Let me ask you this. What's the most money you've ever raced for in this short career you've had so far? I honestly, I don't really gamble a lot just because like uh, my team, I, now I've seen the team I have 
six thousand, ten thousand dollar bets. Uh, which I don't. I mean, sometimes I'll throw some money in on the bet, but yeah. I just really not, really not a big gambler. Uh, I raced uh, Jared Bradshaw in the streets one time. Uh, you and, know what? Uh, we That's... gambled a little bit, but it wasn't a lot of money. Uh, and he me. Uh, I, when when we left, I kind of left on the back tires and felt like I was going over into his lane. And I, I let out, and he went on, and he got the money, and, and I got the chain. Well, hey, sometimes it's not always uh, about stuff money. like that. That's make it. No, yeah. no, yeah. no, no. My it's favorite never part about the money. It's about the sport. Yeah, my favorite part. You've kind of already mentioned it is the family atmosphere. I mean, kind of yes, how we've got introduced got introduced ourselves is you know I I put my name out there trying to promote all the racers that I can. You know, my door is always open, but through a mutual friend now, you know, that's how I got you on the show today. And that's just, that's just part. It's a tiny part of the racing community and the racing family right. and the, the part that I love the most. And, uh, you know, I, I can't wait to see this continue and grow further. Got to switch gears on you real quick here, Bubba. Let's ask you this one. It's one of the most famous E's and B's question. You're having breakfast tomorrow with any celebrity or race car driver out there. Who are you having it with and what are you having? And uh definitely gonna be steak and eggs for breakfast. Uh I don't know who like I would have said the the one that I would have really wanted it to be would have been probably Dylan Hart. But we all know he's he's right. gone. And that's hey, that's a uh, okay, that's how we do it on here. Kind of after he died, I, I just never got into racing again. That's the most common uh, thing. But that's cool because, you know, there's a lot of people that's mentioned that name. And, and, you know, who knows? Maybe that will happen sometime. But I got to ask you this one. Your movie's coming out tomorrow of your life. Who's playing you and what's the name of it? Uh, Who's playing me? Uh, and the movie i don't even know honestly <laughs> never thought right. of it like that all right i'll give you just one just off the top of my head i say murder nova's playing you and it's called green car that's all <laughs> <laughs> murder nova green car uh i'm good with it you are all right all right let's switch gears and get back into a little bit of the racing talk before i turn the tables over to you and let you promote yourself and let everybody know what's coming up on your schedule i gotta ask you this you're lining up for the most amount of money for the biggest trophy for whatever you want to say the biggest race of your life and you're gonna win who do you want to beat I, anybody that sits beside of me, like I, 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 there is nobody in particular, like, uh, really there's, there's nobody in particular. If you sit beside of me, I want to outrun your ass. I, like, that's all I can say. Nice. Uh, like, I, I feel that the racing industry, it should be great. Everybody's good. Everybody's back. I mean, there, there's no confrontation. There's, and which there's always confrontation, but. Like, it's just, I don't look for it. Like, I'd rather just race, race for the bag because in the end, that's what it's for. It's for the check. There you go. All right, just a uh, couple more here for you, Bubba. Let me ask you this one. If you could change one thing about no prep racing, what would you change? Uh, I would do away with all the big tire cars, make it all small tires small tire to the front yeah i like it i like it hey no offense, no offense big tires the small tires are a lot funner my opinion uh, well i mean you get out there 130 mile an hour sideways going across the finish line you're like damn I, and it's sketchy it's definitely <laughs> sketchy because i've been there awesome uh, i just i like small tires man right but i was introduced into and like that's really what I like. Uh, Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it, my friend. 
All right, last one I'm going to ask you before I turn the table over to you. It's the famous question here on the E's and B's we finish up with. <laughs> when it's all said and done, Bubba, what do you want the side chick racing and Bubba Phillips legacy to be? I would say a family oriented racing business. Like I got kids, I got boys, uh, which I've got a girl too, but I, I would rather it be something that the kids could do and like to do and do it all as a family. Uh, really what I'd like to see. Cause I don't, I mean, I don't really care about the money. The money's great. When you win, the money's great. I mean, I work for a living, so I don't really care about the money. Uh, but I, I would really just a successful no prep racing business. It would be nice. Uh, so, cause we sell shirts, we sell hats. We show, I mean, we sell hoodies. The, uh, just something successful. That's the best thing I think you could say. It obviously ties right back into where we started. Family, you know, uh, like I said, yeah. family and racing is the best thing overseen out there. I wish everybody would get on board. But before I let you go, Bubba, tell all the fans and listeners out there where they can find you at and what you got coming up next. And before you hop off, give your shout out to all your sponsors. Okay. Uh, so, I'm Bubba Phillips out of Denton, North Carolina, the home of the famous Kevin Mullins. Uh, I, I, he's my engine builder. He's he's my go-to guy. Uh, now, I've got uh, Austin Cargill, which is a uh, Cargill cartel. And that they, like, he does everything hands-on with the car. Uh, Jake Boswell. Him, that man has really done a lot for me in the snow prep world. He's really got me in it and kind of got me where I'm at now. Uh, I cannot thank Jake Boswell enough. At, like, I cannot. Uh, Lexington Tire, uh, Motorsports on Main, they, uh, uh, them guys helped me. Uh, I mean, my construction company, Phillips Construction, uh, really foots the – foots the bill uh around here but let's not talk about that because uh mama's definitely around uh who else is there uh i think that's really it yeah. cargo cartel uh tkm sna salvage shane humphrey uh blake lawson lexington tire mike malima uh Motorsports on Main, and uh, really the wife. Uh, the wife puts up with a lot of this late night travels. The two o'clock in the morning, let's get up, let's go, let's, we got to go. And uh, so, a lot of it goes to her. Uh, luckily, most of our kids are grown, uh, seventeen, sixteen. They're working a job. Uh, we really don't have too much of that to worry about. We got. One that's 11 that he usually tags along with us, but he likes to paintball. So we've been losing him here on a lot of weekends. Um, and I'd really say that's it. And side chick racing to the front. And we're going to Digger Die. That's coming up weekend. We're getting ready to go to Digger Die. Rockingham, Rockingham North Carolina. This weekend, uh, they'll be, we'll be doing a street race in Mexico down there, uh, which will be great. The weekend after, we got Shady Shady Side again. Uh, hopefully, I could come out a little better at Shady Side this time. Uh, that's, and we plan to just race, 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 all we can race, all over the country. We want to race. Awesome, awesome stuff, Bubba. Well, buddy, it's been an honor and a pleasure having you here on the E's and B's, and we cannot wait to have you back in the near near future, folks. You can check him out this weekend on all those live feeds coming coming from dig or die that's right folks but to again once again my man driver of the side chick coming to us from north carolina it's baba
Tom, stay safe. Thanks, my man.